Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Joel Lycatcher, and today I'm doing a review on the Schwabi Marathon Plus tires. Now, I put these tires on my truck a few days ago, and there's a whole story about putting these on. They're difficult, very difficult tires to put on. But let me first tell you, I was, I've been riding on this trike with some fairly well-worn Schwabi, I believe they're called Trekker tires. I'll leave a link below if that wasn't the exact model. And they were better after I replaced the bearings in my headsets. When I started riding these, and now it's like they turn on glass. It is so cool. These tires really do make a difference. Also, I have these inflated to 100 PSI. I believe they go to 110. I think it's 80 to 110 PSI. And you can see right now I'm on a fairly rough paved path. And they're soaking up the vibrations a bit. And now I, I do admit I'm on a cat trike road and that has the rear suspension, not the front, this is the older model, but it's definitely a lot more Dumontish. Not that I've ridden a Dumont, but I can imagine it's Dumontish. And again, for those who don't know, Dumont has front suspension as well as rear. But I have noticed going through potholes and dips in the road, like here's a sidewalk ledge. Let's go through this and you'll see, it just soaks it up. It really handles that well. One of the features of this tire is that, here we are in a tunnel, echo, echo. <laughs> One of the features of this tire is that it's puncture resistant. It has a very thick um, top layer uh, where the rubber meets the road. And though I'm not gonna test it, I've heard from others it's pretty good. Oh, here's a big bump. Boom, oh, I missed it. So, as far as the feel, I really do like the way these feel. Far better than my other tires. But then, if you ever put new tires on your car, you know there's nothing like the feeling of new tires. And these definitely feel like new tires. Uh, now, let me tell you about why they're the most difficult tires to install. They're very, very stiff. Uh, getting the bead to seat in the rim is you're going to think it's impossible if you do it. Now the first tire, I have three, of course, the trike. The first tire took me about an hour, maybe 90 minutes to get on. And I fought it with brute force, and I wore the rubber off the bead, and I got it in. And that was about 11, finished by 11 p.m. Of course, being, it was getting personal, uh, and I decided, okay, I'm going to do the other tire. Well, by 2.30 in the morning, again, it's almost three hours later, I gave up. I could not get the bead into the rim. No matter what I did, it just would not fit. So I took the second front tire and the rear tire to my local bike shop and let him do it. He had the same problem. Though he was a lot stronger than me, he got it on in about an hour using pure brute force. And he ate, even used a uh, I believe it's called a cool spot um, bead wrench and it broke it, it snapped it in half. That's how tight the tire bead is on these Schwabi Marathon Pluses. But he pulled and pulled and yanked and yanked and got it on, on both tires. Did take him a while. So long story longer, I get home, next morning I'm going to ride and I see the front tire I did is flat, pinched in or two. Yeah, you know what I was thinking. Oh my God, here we go again. So I uh, used my tire levers and it wasn't easy. I'll be honest, the Park Tool tire levers have a tough time with this tire. I, uh, I got it off one rim, put a new inner tube in, of course took out the old one. And, and at that point I said, let me go see if there's something else on YouTube I missed. And there was. 10 years ago, this video was made. Apparently, Schwabi Marathon Pluses were around 10 years ago. And this guy used what I call the zip tie technique. And here's how it goes. Starting, and by the way, there's a link below to that video and another video that someone else did uh, to recap how to do this. So what he did is starting at the valve, 
he squeezed the tire into the the well of the hub of the rim and then he used a zip tie on each side then he pulled the tire up and put a zip tie on each other about maybe five inches say six inches higher up on the rim and squeeze that down and they did it again so now we got two four six ties on and squeezed it down as tight as he could in my case the only tool i used was a needle nose pliers to really pull the zip tie as tight as i could and after you do that then you go back to the valve and you start pulling the tire up with the zip ties trying to get it as deep into the rim and as much slack echo echo as much slack as you could into the, the top of the wheel and at that point as if by magic the tire b just pops into the rim all by itself no fuss no muss i was just floored and completely astounded how easy this was and couldn't believe i didn't do this a day ago would have saved me a little bit of money for an inner tube for, for two pinched inner tubes and some shop labor Anyway, I got it in, I cut off the zip ties, I inflated it, and here's my tire right here. Perfect. So, my overall conclusion on these tires are, not so difficult to install if you know the right way to do it. Matter of fact, simple, simple, easy to install if you know what you're doing. Without any tools except perhaps some pliers to pull zip ties tight. The rolling resistance is great. I mean, great as in very, very low. I picked up about two miles an hour on these wheels. The steering is like on glass. They feel amazing. Um, and the puncture resistance is designed to be very high. I am not gonna test that. And all I can say is I am super happy. I'm so happy that on my two-wheeled recum other recumbent, my Strat Rand Stratus, it's in need of new wheels and I'm going to be replacing those with the Schwabby Marathons now that I know how wonderful these tires are. Um, so two thumbs up, great tires. If you have any questions, feel leave me a comment below. Uh, I'm Joel Lightcatcher and thanks for riding along with me. This is a review of the Schwabby Marathon Plus tires. Happy journeys. Bye.